When you're blind, life can be difficult without a partner to guide you. But not all partners have an interest in the other's safety. Diving in to number six in the countdown is a blind animal that makes a real leap of faith. But help is close at hand for the pestle shrimp. Being blind, it can keep out of trouble by hiding in its burrow. But eventually it has to leave to find food and maintain the entrance to its home. That's why the shrimps teamed up with a guide, Gobi. The Gobi has excellent eyesight, but needs a burrow to hide in. So while the shrimp looks after the house, the Gobi keeps a lookout for predators. The shrimp keeps in touch with its partner by using its long antennae. If anything dangerous appears, the goby warns the shrimp by shivering and making a quick retreat. With its guard in position, the shrimp can deal with the ever-shifting sands that could fill the burrow's entrance in less than an hour. Its excavations can also provide the goby with occasional snacks. The shrimp prefers to eat indoors, but when its food runs low, it may have to venture further from the entrance, and that's when it can get in trouble. If it gets disoriented, it might never find its way home unless its partner comes to the rescue. This odd couple are number six in the countdown because each partner relies on the other for their survival. But then, the goby wouldn't be the first professional to guide another species home. This family of orphaned geese found help in the form of Canadian artist Bill Lishman. He had no trouble guiding his flock in lessons on how to run, but guiding the geese on their migration path meant learning how to fly. Bill Lishman was the first human to guide a flock of geese along their migration path. His babies followed him like they would their real father when, in 1994, he escorted 18 geese over 800 kilometers from Ontario to Virginia. A guide goby may not have to travel as far as a migrating goose, but its job does demand constant vigilance. And sometimes, four eyes are better than two, especially when there's an accommodation shortage on the seafloor. So far, we've seen some relationships really deep, while others just scratch the surface. But coming up, who would be buddies with the most bad-tempered animal in the world? And later, we'll meet an odd couple that are always falling out with lethal consequences. That's coming up next. Coming in at number five in our countdown of the most extreme odd couples is an animal that loves honey. The only problem is how to break into the hive. The honey guide has developed a unique solution. It knows the location of every hive within 250 square kilometers, and it also knows where to go to get help. 
the bird calls up one of the angriest animals on the planet. The honey badger has a fierce reputation and a weakness for honey. That's why it teams up with the honey guide. The bird leads the way, calling to guide its partner. The bird is the brains of this odd couple. The honey badger is there as the muscle. The badger's sharp claws can rip open the nest, but even a thick layer of fat under its tough skin isn't enough to protect it from the painful sting of the angry bees. But honey badgers are notoriously stubborn. Some have been recorded staying in the hive until they're stung to death. Once the badger has claimed its reward of energy-rich honey and bee larvae, the honey guide moves in for its share. A badger will find more nests with less effort by teaming up with a honey guide and the bird gets access to the grubs and comb of the more difficult hives. But if a honey guide can't find a badger, it sometimes forms an odd alliance with another honey hunter. In Kenya, people are all too willing to be led astray by a honey guide. They recognize the bird's signal call and follow its special undulating flight path. Eventually, the bird indicates the position of the hive by subtly changing its behavior and call. People are careful to leave some comb behind for their feathered guide. This relationship has formed over many thousands of years and has got to the stage that people can actually call up a honey guide by using a snail shell whistle. But these are not the only humans that have learned how to talk to the birds. Meet Katrina and her pet goose, Duffy. Having raised Duffy from an egg, Katrina has spent so much time with her pet that she's become a goose whisperer. I'm hungry, you could say, is and you look around bobbing your head up and down or if you say I've got food you go that look really stupid but it works compared to learning how to speak to a goose listening to a honey guide is easy However, chatting up a bad-tempered predator like a honey badger may be a little risky. But coming up next is another badger that forms an alliance with a mortal enemy.